It was a night just like any other night. I was watching Ginny on Twitch. She was currently in Europe and had been for almost three months at this point. Her brother, Kevin, had came with her and another streamer, Hatchebu, soon joined them. They went to a few different places and eventually Kevin went back to Korea while Ginny and Hatchebu stayed for another month until November. Covid then got worse and Germany shut down all hotels for tourists which forced him to leave the country. Hachabi did the obvious thing and returned back to Korea, but Ginny instead decided to go back to Sweden and stay for a few more weeks in Stockholm. This is when I realized something was off. Why would she go back to Stockholm, a literal corona hotspot? She said corona didn't matter because she wasn't going outside anyway, but she ended up streaming most days outdoors. And if she was going to stay inside, why not do that in Korea instead? Many others also questioned her decision, but she just gave weak excuses for everything. Bad excuses. Thank you for three dollar. Bad time zone. Stream EU PC schedule instead of two AM streams. No content. Don't go Hongdae slash Gangnam one hundred time. Hey. It's not my fault. It's Korea's fault. Just I went Korea to. Instead, it's more believable. <laughs> Cocked. Really wise one. Thank you for seven months up. No matter how hard anybody wants to say go against my argument, I would say fuck off. You know, it's my decision, I do what I want to do. And uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is when I started to watch the streams more closely. I was hoping to find something that would give it away, but after two weeks, just as she was about to leave, I had nothing more than speculation. And I began to think that maybe for once, Jenny was telling the truth. But then, on the very last day, on the 15th of November, I finally got my break. Portal 2 Sorry, let me explain. On the 15th of November, Ginny streamed from 1.07pm to 7.34pm. While looking for clues, I noticed something on her skin. Quebecois people are Someone the subhuman offspring of French people partaking in the traditional Welsh practice of sheep sedging. You know it, I know it. The French know it. Cope harder. Well, I know it now, apparently. In her account, while she was streaming outside. I got a screenshot of the achievements, which if you check the times, are at the same time that she was live. Now that just doesn't make sense. Some explanations she could give are that her Steam got hacked, but that would be impossible as she had gotten hacked before and now has two-factor authentication activated. I even remember her talking on stream about how some guy tried to log into her Steam account but got stopped by it. Also, no hacker would log into his streamer's account just so they can play Portal 2. So maybe it was her PC in Korea, and Kevin was playing it on her PC. But that also wouldn't make sense. Why would he get onto his sister's PC in the middle of the night just to play Portal 2. Furthermore, I remember seeing on stream that Jenny did not have the keep me logged in box checked, so he would need to know her password and have her phone to get past two-factor authentication. But then there's one more piece of evidence. That night, Jenny showed up on Discord at 8.23pm, a little under an hour after she ended the stream. And if we look back to the screenshot of the Portal 2 achievements, we can see the last achievement unlocked that day was at 8.18pm. Quite a coincidence. Almost as if they had just stopped playing when Ginny got back to the Airbnb. So what we can conclude from all this is that someone had been at her Airbnb playing on her laptop while she was away. But we can go a little bit deeper here. Looking at her account, we can see Portal 2 was first played on Friday the 13th of November. Stream will show the total playtime for the last two weeks of a game on your profile. Using this, we can keep refreshing the page until we get the exact timestamps of how long Portal 2 was played on her account, which, in turn, gives us the information of when exactly the person was at her airbnb. Two weeks from Friday the 13th would be the 27th, but of course, things don't go the way I had planned. On exactly the 27th, the day I would have started getting the timestamps, her profile goes private. Why did she do this? I'll get to that later. But it going private, of course, was to be expected, and I logged it myself. First, I copied all of her playtime into a text file, and then I saved screenshots every hour Jesus, of the game list. Dude, what is wrong with you? But now we are left with the question who was this mystery Portal 2 player? Well, it's simple, really. 9. The Oiler from Stockholm. Who is he? Some rich viewer who has donated over $40,000 to Ginny. Why him? Well, let's take a look at the evidence. Exhibit A 
Checking his Discord logs on Ginny's Discord server, you can see that he said he had 1200 hours on Portal 2. Here is more evidence of him talking about Portal 2. This makes it likely that he would play Portal 2 to pass the time while he was alone in the Airbnb. Exhibit B. The last time she was in Stockholm, Ginny's brother, Kevin, had leaked that she went on a date with him. When you said earlier you don't no. have time to meet anyone offline. You know your what? brother leaked you had a date off stream with that nine guy on your last day in Stockholm. Right? That's when all of us ate dinner together. That's not a date. He invited Hachu, me, and Kevin all together. But Hachu didn't come. But she didn't have time. I did hang out with S4 too, but that's before streaming. No, Kevin was there. Alright, so it's just fucking a Swedish dude. Get over it! We're fairly popular with the ladies.